Have you ever noticed that there are usually four rails on bridges? Do you know what is the reason behind this? Before I would like to clarify first that I do not mean on dual gauge which exists in some countries. This doesn't have to do anything with that. Instead I will talk about one unusual thing that I wondered a few years back. Why railway tracks have four rails on bridges? These rails actually have its name and they're called guard rails. Besides bridges, they are, also, they are also used on some other places such as tunnels, level crossings and similar. You probably already have an idea of what they are used for. First of all, they are not used to prevent derailment. But they are there if derailment happens what this means. There are generally some places on railways which are more critical than others, such as the ones mentioned above. They are critical for the reason if major accidents happen on them, they could cause higher fatalities in terms of human victims or major infrastructure damage. Therefore, railway engineers came to an idea to implement these guard rails on these places. There are few reasons behind this. One is to guard the railed car along the track and try to stop car from flipping on side. Second reason is to stop the rest of the train to derail and especially nearby cars until train driver apply brakes or train stops on some way. You might wonder why train would derail on bridge for example. Well, as anywhere else alongside railways, this can happen. On bridges, for example, some heavier cars can cause rail vibrations which will make bridge to amplify or dampen, which is likely to happen especially if infrastructure is older. Here I have one example from Serbian railways a few years back where there was no human victims but railway wagons flipped over and made huge financial costs. Guard rails do not guarantee that train will not collapse, but they are there for a reason and in many countries and many cases they would prevent bigger damages or disasters, so there is very valid reason for having them. I hope that you learned something new in today's video. If you did, please give a like, share or make some comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel too. And of course, if you want to know more about railways and become track designer, check my railway track design course in comment below in the description. Thank you and have a great day.